everybody good morning good evening whatever it is for you welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be talking about makeup while I'm doing my makeup so this is a get ready with me um, and talking about vegan makeup and what all that jazz is about and why you might want to consider changing your routine or having a better option choosing better options so Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I came up with, I found five things online that um, I think are pretty important to know and they're kind of just like baseline. If you're vegan, amazing. If you are not vegan, um, but you're maybe thinking of trying to get some better options, then these are some good tips and good things to know. So I'm really just here to inform you. I'm not trying to convince you to change your lifestyle or anything. Um, but you know knowledge is power and a few years ago I didn't know about any of these five um, I didn't really know about the beauty industry and like what they did so I'm just here to let you know so that you can make the right decision for yourself so number one oh <laughs> I'm also a little sick so I'm gonna speak a little not as loud number one the difference between vegan natural and cruelty free so cruelty free obviously means that they do not test on animals um you have to be pretty careful with this one you want to make sure that your products are saying 100 percent cruelty free because there is a loophole for companies where if they do uh testing like during the process but not at the very end like not at, so they could be doing some animal testing but if they don't do it on the very last step, then they could it could be considered cruelty free. So like testing the final product on the animal. So if you put 100% cruelty free, that means from, um, you know, the moment it was thought up until it was created, it did not touch another, it did not touch an animal and it was not tested on animals. So you want to look for 100% cruelty free. Um, natural so when you see something that says a hundred percent natural a lot of people think like oh you know that's wonderful and amazing and it is but the thing that you're not you might not know is that when people companies put the word natural all you really need to do to have that little stamp is to mean that it comes from the earth so unfortunately animal rendering so whenever they um, butcher an animal and then they don't use like you know they give you like the they cut off like the main parts oh. and then when they don't <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay so the products the um, animal that they don't use the rest like the remains basically they there's animal rendering companies that they take it and they grind it up and then they sell that to use as fillers to cosmetic companies so that is technically considered natural because it's an animal. So just because something says natural, if it says natural but it doesn't also say vegan, you could still be putting dead animals on your face. So you don't want me doing that. And then the word vegan. So this is my favorite word to find on um, products. So when you see the little V meaning vegan certified, that means that every single ingredient in here or any of your vegan products are not made from animal byproducts, you also want to make sure that they're plant-based. So you could go, yeah, a level higher and go find plant-based um, vegan products because sometimes, again, people will use bad things as fillers or just, you know, to kind of dilute the product. So you just want to do your research. So that those are the three things. Vegan, natural, and cruelty-free the differences between those and num so tip or information number two you'll be sorry I like wrote it down and I'm blind so I need to bring it over here <laughs> um okay yes so I wanted to go back into I touched bait on it a little bit talking about number two is animal rendering companies so I think a lot of people don't know about this, um, that animal rendering companies are worldwide. And what they do is they take meats from um, life li like, <laughs> livestock, slaughterhouses, 
um, Slaughterhouse Waste, and Roadkill, and even Euthanized Pets. Okay, Euthanized Pets. Let that sink in, because a lot of people, I think when you hear the word pet, you finally start to, it kind of maybe starts to click like how nasty it is to have dead animal carcasses be put into products that then go on your face. You know what I mean? So, you know, being vegan is more like using products that are vegan is really important for the overall like well-being of your skin to make sure that you don't have um, like if you have problem skin or you just want like healthier skin because you're not putting dead animals on your face. <laughs> um, so number three, um, avoiding artificial chemicals. So what that means is, um, I say artificial because not all chemicals are bad chemicals. You know, H2O, water, is a chemical. So there are a lot of chemicals that come from nature that are natural, that are good for you, that are just fine, that have absolutely no bad repercussions on your um, well-being. And it has, it, there's nothing wrong with it being absorbed into your skin. But artificial, like artificial sweeteners, okay, things like that, where that's man-made, that's people in a lab putting things together, trying to cut this with that. It's almost like when you go, it's almost like, I've been watching a lot of um, Drug Inc. So if you, you know, take a piece of meth and then you cut it with something to dilute it so that it like goes further, basically artificial, a lot of artificial chemicals, once again, are not for your benefit. They are just used to, you know, fill the space and it's not stuff that your skin needs. And like you want your products to like last long and like be pigmented and um, really do a good job and like you're paying for every bit that you're getting and that's a lot, a lot of the reason why vegan products tend to be on the more expensive side is because the quality just by being vegan, being all natural, being plant-based is like already better. Unless it's a company that dilutes their products, um, which you can check that by saying if like the first, one of the first few ingredients is water, unless it's supposed to be a water-based. Anyways, <laughs> number four is, oh yeah, avoiding cancer. So the fourth reason why you should consider buying vegan products and, and like why is because you could be avoiding cancer. So in the US, I don't know where you're watching this from, but Europe has it made. <laughs> Their um, beauty industry is run by or is not privately owned so there's like a lot of regulations that they have to go through they have to prove that an ingredient is safe to use before it goes into a product which sounds like that's how it should be right not in America so in America you don't have to prove anything you put whatever you want in your products until you know maybe years later they find that it's there's something wrong with it and that's causing people health problems and then they'll take it out you know, just to be like, kind of put into perspective, in the in Europe, in the EU, Europe European Union, they ban over a thousand products, over, sorry, over a thousand ingredients to use in products for your um, hair, skin, and nails. In the US, they, we only ban 11. So, <laughs> companies that abide by the European standard, American companies that abide by the European standard are way better. And the reason why it matters what ingredients are being put into your products is because in America, we are basically just like walking test tubes for these companies. And I say this because a perfect example is the discovery of um, certain deodorants that are leading to breast cancer. So a little bit of ways ago, um, people were putting these things called parabens in your deodorant, which parabens are a preservative, but it was a specific type of par paraben that when you put it into um, your deodorant and what was put into your underarm, those chemicals get absorbed into your body and then go down into your chest because it's right there, causing... So yes, where was I? So parabens being put into deodorants are 
were causing, and they like directly linked it to causing breast cancer. So think about that. It took how who knows how many years that they were putting in these uh, this chemical in their products. These like major companies, guys. Like everything you, you could find in like Target, Walmart. You know they just aren't cautious of what they're putting into their products. You know Johnson and Johnson is a big one. Johnson and Johnson has had a lot of lawsuits. Also, don't come for me, please. Um, but like maybe you should because you're being shady. But Johnson & Johnson has had a lot of um, lawsuits, not because they're a big name, but because they don't regulate what goes into their products. They just like throw junk in there. So they had a lawsuit with um, their newest, I think it was their baby oil. Basically, there were two chemicals that when combined with, um, I think it was heat or warm water, it created this like tar-like substance. So people were giving their babies baths and... Um, you know cleaning them up and then they would put Johnson Johnson products on it and it would cause this tar like substance again walking test tubes like it should not get to the point of the consumer having these allergic reactions or having these like problems for a company to be like okay I guess we'll like look at it and like try to take some stuff out and like try to fix it but like we won't continue we won't like change our policies or anything <sighs> so frustrating. um last one the last little bit of info that I have is um, number five, which is that it avoids being going vegan helps you avoid allergies. So a lot of people don't really realize that they have a dairy intolerance. Now, obviously, most people understand if they're lactose intolerant because it's pretty severe. But a lot of us naturally have intolerances to dairy and gluten. And these are things that um, gluten especially in the U.S. kind of became more of like a fad thing to help you lose weight but in reality gluten really is a problem and it causes it's good it's a problem because it's hard for your body to digest so it's not so much just about like eating it when people put gluten in their products dairy in their products and it gets absorbed into your skin it gets absorbed like into you know your mouth and you eat it it causes your body to work harder because it's like trying to break that stuff down and then in return you're just not not like working at your optimal level in health you know <laughs> um i was gonna do eyes maybe i should i will but yeah those are the five it's it's really more choosing products that are vegan or choosing products that are all natural living a plant-based lifestyle or just making choices in that direction one direction um are really they're they're for health reasons there's no gimmick about it it's been proven time and time again that being on a vegan diet can help cure diseases it can help you walk again like if you're having really bad joint pains it can help you like breathe better if you have asthma it can like you know your risk of diabetes and then you know it's another thing we've just been lied to a lot like do your research i'm going to talk about this more if you guys want to know about it but I was watching What the Health on Netflix, which if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Because that show is, I mean, that, sorry, it was a movie. That movie is amazing. It really goes in depth into the meat industry, the dairy industry, and how corrupt it is. I, the, the biggest thing that stuck out to me is that, um, so the American Cancer Society and the American Society, like Diabetes Society, Diabetes Prevention Society, talk about, you know, uh, good healthy habits to eat or good things to, good things to eat. Um, suggested diet plans, basically, suggested meals. And they all consumed, I mean, they all had dairy and meat in them. Um, but studies have shown that, you know, eating meat or eating dairy causes or like makes you more susceptible to having diabetes, makes you more susceptible to having cancer. So why would they be promoting it? And then you go and you see who sponsors the American Cancer Society? Dairy companies. Meat companies. What? 
Of course. So you know, you know, it's it's stuff like that. It's oh, it's so corrupt, guys. You have to, you cannot cannot be trusting what is out there. You need to be doing your own research. Just because it's on the shelf doesn't mean it's safe to use. And things that you're putting on your skin every single day are just as important as things that you're eating every single day. So, you know, like I said, I'm gonna talk about this more. These are just five things that I wanted to get out there and kind of get you thinking. And if you are currently a vegan and you have more info, you know, I'd love to see it in the comments below. Like, let's get a dialogue going. Like, have people asking questions. I follow so many Facebook groups that help with that so much because you know people that are new to this or people that are trying to get into this they have a lot of questions and people that have been in this kind of lifestyle for longer than others of course have a lot of wisdom and knowledge to share so just know that um you know it's a lifestyle change and just like any other kind of lifestyle change like trying to lose weight or anything like that you know it has its ups and its downs and you're always going to have people that are questioning why you're doing it and um, trying to make, make you go back to your own ways and it's like you don't want to be around those people you want to be around people that encourage you to keep being a better you and if they're trying to hold you back you need to cut them loose or just like separate yourself or ignore them because they were probably doing that because they're unhappy with their own life it's just always something to remember I personally went vegan um, almost a year ago now. I did it because I did this 30 day program um, with Arbonne, who I now represent because I actually loved it so much that I wanted to get involved with this company and share, you know, share it with others because um, my mom is a nutritionist, so growing up I was super into my health. I thought I was eating really well. I thought I was really healthy. I always, you know, working out and just like health and wellness was just born in me. Um, with, really, without a choice, it was fine. Um, I love it and it's my passion now and always has been, honestly. So I've, and I've always had like a pretty good amount of energy, you know, because I eat very well and because of exercise and everything like that. Um, but I definitely started to plateau with my workout, workout regimen. I used to do like Pilates and yoga and Zumba. And then when I did the 30 days to healthy living program, I felt so clear and it's this thing called like vegan clarity. So you can do the 30 days program like without, um, being vegan, but I just went like all in because I knew the product for vegan. I'm like, if I'm going to go vegan, like this is a great way to try try it out and see like how I feel on it because the biggest thing with people switching a diet switching to a diet or switching to any kind of change in their eating habits is that they are not getting the right amount of nutrients so if you ever go on a diet and you like get sicker right away or if you go on a diet and you're just like feeling really hungry all the time really tired all the time you're not getting enough nutrients it doesn't necessarily mean the diet's not working you just need to like eat properly so the 30 days gives you seven supplements that you take throughout the day, you know, protein, fiber, um, enzymes, you know, green tea to keep uh, just like things going and flowing. And it's really subtle and it really is really good. So seven things that you know you're getting exactly what your body needs. So you can like snack here and there and have like a salad, have like a smoothie, have some oatmeal. That's just what I ate or just could do whatever. Um, but I just felt so good. So there really is a lot of truth behind going into this lifestyle and how it changes you for the better. So, you know, give it a chance. Give it a, give it a, give it a good old, give it a good, <laughs> give it a good old college try. All right, I'm basically running out of time. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for listening and then watching. Um, please leave your comments down below. Subscribe. I'll go like check out your channel if you do. And um, I hope to see you on the next one. Please ask me any questions. I'm more than happy to help. And um, let's be friends on Facebook if you are a vegan or follow me on Instagram because I want to just befriend everybody that is in this plant-based lifestyle and share it with everyone else. So. Thank you again. Love you guys so much. And I will see you on the next one.